Howdy, hey, hey guys, it's time for more side quest extravaganza in Zion. We're going to do the optional white legs trap removal stuff, as well as the optional removal of Yao Guai stuff, and potentially talk to Follows Chalk about our opinion of him leaving and going to visit civilization. Hopefully also maybe find the last survival cache that we need to complete the story arc of the father in the caves and I'm honestly not sure if we can do all of that today as well as random exploration which is what we're starting out with maybe I should have said that but we're just gonna see what seems fun at the time and what we feel like doing hopefully there are no more giant yaogwai I kind of lost track of how many there were and how many I killed and I don't know if it changed between reloads but whatever first things first I got a little helpful hint. I do like my vague helpful hints that the dock we ended on last time, which is right over there on the riverbed, something to the northwest of that has uh, potentially special items or something we may be interested in. So we're going to take a look about that. Ignore the quest markers. We're not paying attention to that right now. So if the little dock was like over here and I need to go north, I think it was northwest for the prize. I'm wondering if it's up at that uh, plane. Forgot the word for the big featherless metal bird for a minute. <laughs> Not a, says that most don't talk right now. The valley do not keep to the father's ways. Something's squishing, Perhaps babe. When you leave, you will don't don't talk to me. Something is squishing and something is shooting. I can I cannot frankly be bothered to speak with you about what I might or might not do. Okay. Okay, we're stuck on a tree. That's all right. Okay, it's up there. Is she shooting? I handed her a pistol to hold on to. No, she's still in melee mode. Because I didn't switch her combat, but I thought I heard extra shots. But it could be from a dead horse, or it could be from more white legs. Very cool. This tree hates me. I just get stuck on it all the time. Stop, stop, stop. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. At least he died fairly quickly. Okay, problem solved. The squishing was the ant, which she took care of. And then there's these white legs, who I'm not too worried about. I can give that healing powder away. This is just worth a lot, so I'll take it. That's way too heavy to bother with. And that's all. I wonder where this caution is coming from. Could be anybody, anywhere. As long as it's not something scary, I'm okay. So if we were gonna go up to the aeroplane, go the big way around, because it looks like it has a little road leading to it. You scared me. Caution is over. Whoa, no it isn't. Slap him. What was that grunt? Was that you? That was like the most manly grunt I've ever heard. I question you. That was such a sound. I don't know that I could make such a noise. And that's impressive because I make a lot of weird noises. I don't know if you've noticed. You've noticed. You've been here. You know me. <laughs> I make a conscious effort not to do, like, anything Daniel super weird. Oh, don't do jump scare me. Come on, ways. girl. Perhaps when you leave, you will carry his word with you. How ironic is that? I'm like, I try not to be super weird. Get scared of literally nothing. Wow. I don't know about you, but I'm impressed with myself. So this is taking us up to the helicopter. The aeroplane is not a hop decliptor. I said it like that on purpose. Hopta, clopta, where you at? Over there? Oh, Geki, hello. 
And what else? I see some Xandar roots. Spit from Hoomst. From Hoomst. I guess that was the origin of the caution. Oh, no. Those are not... Never mind. Sorry. They look like they might be Xandars, but... Apparently not. Oh, this isn't the airplane. The airplane's over there. So how do you get to the airplane? I guess the answer is you don't. It doesn't look like it's going to be in a space that you can get to it. Well, then what is this place? This isn't a point of interest. Is it? It is. Court Fork Overlook. I completely ignored where it got discovered. I guess I was busy freaking out about lizards. Okay. Well, there's one we can pick. It needs to be nice and green on top, apparently. The ungreen ones are not fit for consumption, I suppose. I see a Yaogwai. A Yogi. A Yogi Bear. And a toilet is over here for whatever reason. Oh, it's coming. It senses us. I'm not all about it, really. Oh, here we go. There's geckos over that way. I'm worried about the Yaogwai, though, because that thing... If it's a giant one... I'll fight you if I must. <gasps> oh, cool. It's a mantis. Thank you. Thanks. I'm really glad somebody does. That's gonna be the Yaogwai. I am frightened. I am big scared. Okay. Zion used to be a place of peace. You could chat a little bit less. Says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as a place. Which is a really rare thing for me to say because I love chat. I do. I love your chitter chatter. I love chatter so much that I'm. Um, whatever that means. Just don't jump off the cliff, okay? Suicide is bad, all right. We must maintain our high ground. How did you... How did you get up here? Okay, I'm afraid. I know she says she has it under control, but I just don't want to leave it to chance. And here comes another one. It's got enough for one more hit. Pain maker, huh? How's this for a pain? Look at me. I'm the pain maker now. And I saw the doggy. I'm not really scared of the doggies because they don't hurt. No, you do though, you do though. Oh no, 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 die to die to die. Thank you. Doggy? That was a pupper, wasn't it? More of you? You're not even scary. I just melted a bear. Whoa, you went flying, man. Flying in the sky. Do you? I'm gonna help out anyway. Okie doke. I don't think that there's gonna be anything interesting at this overlook. I'm not sold that this is the place I was hinted to go to because it's just a, a parking lot, essentially. There is supposedly a scenic overlook. Like, I guess this is scenic. And I don't know if I can climb back up this, but I can try. And around here, there's no skeleton or anything. I thought maybe they would stash something on the hidden side. Looks like there's a ramp back up, luckily for us. So since that Yao Guai is gone, is that going to be the only one? I sure hope so. It looks like I might be able to jump there and there, but I don't think I can make the jump from here to there. And I don't think we're going to the plane anymore. I know you are eager to leave Zion. Girl. Perhaps you might find peace if you stay. You know what? If you want to chat, let's chat. Hey, hey, yes. you want you want to talk? You want to have a little little chatty chat? Katu Biu. Katu Biu T2. Do you have any family? You're a midwife. Do you have any children of your own? Or maybe a man? 
I do. A fine husband and three children. Oh, I love I it. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Good. Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. Very cool. I try not to worry about them. But we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Oh no. Sad and... a little frightened. No, I hope your family's not dead. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. I'm worried about you. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. I want to protect you. I think you're super sweet. I like you a lot. Okay, that's all I wanted. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. I mean, I do. I really think you're rad, but maybe whenever I'm scared like the Dickens, you could cut back a little bit on your whole thing. You know what I mean? Maybe? I'm so sorry, cute little gecko. You cutie little patootie. Patriarch's Campground. Very cool. There is a skeleton. It's not like it's dark in here, but it kind of has like some weird corners. Anything in the suitcase? Money? I guess I'll take that. I kind of want to take the casual wear just to put it on her. Do you think she would um, wear it? She looks good in the leather armor. I had that metal armor I picked up and meant to put on her, but then I kind of forgot. And since it weighed a lot, I just kind of threw it somewhere. It's, uh, whatever. A teddy. A dead guy. Nothing really interesting. A camera. More money. I'm thinking this isn't the place. Hmm. I like this, though. It's like a scavenger hunt. If you're going to give me hints about where to go... Whoa, whoa, da, da, da. Okay. Um, just make it really vague so I can have fun, like a little scavenger hunt and find it. It'll be good times. Shoot this dude. Get him. In the buttocks. Or in the face. It's hard to tell which is which. These things are so ugly. Come here, you loser. Are you trapped up there? Good. Suffer. Die alone on a mountain. Die alone on a glitchy mountain. Good. I'm glad it's over, too. Yes. So what could I possibly be looking for? This may not be the correct location anyway. I think the name of the place was mentioned, but I... I don't know if that's true or what it was. Hello. What did you die of? Stupid? Father, Understandable. I ask that you guide this woman who is the vessel of your will. Show her the light of your wisdom and the peace of your love. Amen. Amen. Good prayer. Good job. I want to just keep going this way. Wait, would it potentially be up this creek? I didn't think uh, there was really anything else of interest over there, but let's travel to this bridge. Hopefully nothing horrible is here. I don't see anything. It's thinking about becoming nighttime. What if I go up the creek? Would there be anything at the end of the river this way? Probably just a waterfall where it comes down off the mountain, right? You leave me no choice. What? Who doesn't? That gecko? He's fine. He's a child. Leave him alone. You like children. Even gecko children deserve to be children. Okay. I thought I saw, like, see those cactuses in that bush? I don't know. I thought the color, like the green color, my mind went to Yaogwai and I freaked out a little bit. Just because I am 
really not okay with the idea of being one shot. Oh, fishy, 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 fishy. Hello. Are you swim? Are you swimming? Me too. I'm just like you. We're all fishies in the lake. That sounds like some tribal philosophy. What's up there? No one wants mole rat meat. Here's something. A dead guy and a bag. With anti-venom. I don't really know that I need any more banana. Well, it's not like it weighs that much. Better drink tobacco and healing powder. Well, I'm sure this isn't what I'm looking for. It's not substantial enough, though. Look at the way his body is. It looks like his hands were tied behind his back. Was he thrown from up there, maybe? Did he come from the plane? Can we get to the plane? I don't think we... I solidly don't think we can. But whether we can or can't, this is still a fun little exploration. Oh no, where is she? So, ah, oh, found her. She found me. <laughs> Am I worse than usual or is this about on par with what you expect? I, I can't actually tell. Maybe the instructions were to go northeast instead of northwest. I know that person who made that comment. Yeah, you. I'm talking about you. Hello. I, I know you're probably screaming at me. Like, why don't you... Go worry. What is that? Cannot tell if that's real dog sounds or ambient dog sounds. Whatever. Where you at? Okay, good. She's still here. I guess we can really go up that cliff. It's probably real dogs. Looks like we could go up here. Maybe somehow go over there. Let's try it. Why not? The whole point of what I'm doing right now is fun exploration. Can we get up this? We can. Well, it doesn't go around up top like I thought it might. So that's a bust. What was that? Are the sound effects still originating from up here? Am I not supposed to come up here because this is sound effect land? Okay, let's leave the sound effects alone. They mean us no harm. Though I'm starting to understand why you guys have a bunch of legends about stuff being haunted and taboo and whatnot. If I was hearing random sounds with no discernible origin, I would also be very much afraid. I could go back down to that little dock, which was the start point of this great adventure. This just goes back over to the ranger station. Is it possible that I missed something here? I know, this is supposed to be a side quest extravaganza. That's what I said at the beginning, but now I'm just doing literally whatever. It's okay, though. Hold on to your shorts. It'll be alright. I'll take those. Here they, are. here they are. No, I don't want them to be here. Who are they? I didn't, I didn't invite them. Did you just slap a baby gecko? Woman? Did you? Oh, you did. I'm so sad about it. Why would you do that? It's not very nice of you. I know you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find... I know. You want me to stay and be friends? I mean, I could see that working out really well. You know, I could stay, be friends with you and your husband and all your kids. I could be like the... The crazy aunt, you know? And they could have competitions to scare me because that's not at all hard to do. Can I look in this bottom one? Just the Salisbury steak. No thanks. What about over here? Anything? Being really thorough, guys. Thought I saw... Yeah, I did. Caution. Hmm? And the music's gone again. Pass like moonlight on still water. Totally been up here and investigated all of this. But isn't this the one with the locked gun case? It is. 
So we can open this now since the lockpick is higher. I actually was meaning to come back here. There's also other places we need to go back to that had locks. I do remember the Bison, Steve, and Nipton had locks in them that I was... I felt strongly about them. But there's just so much to do. I... It's not that I get sidetracked. It's just that I get sidetracked. There's lots to think about, you know? I'll take all of it, sure. I think I have two hunting rifles now. Let's glue them together. Or duct tape, because that's what the sound effect is. No, one's a shotgun. Never mind, just kidding. Just kidding. I, I knew that, guys. Ha ha ha, funny joke. Good one, Missy. You're so funny. So what if I go up that way? What's up there? Maybe nothing? Maybe something, though. We'll take a look. And then maybe go do a quest to make sure that this entire time isn't aimless wandering. I mean, I find it relaxing, but there's no guarantee that all of you find it relaxing. And I don't want you to think I'm wasting your time time. I've been up here. There's a hollowed out rock. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Just kidding. Okay. So that means now we're going to do this. Should I travel close to it? Let's travel to the middle of the river. Because I, I feel like traveling to that cave is just a little bit too close. For comfort. I'm also going to... Well, maybe not because the cave's like right here. But I'm also going to park her a little bit away from the bridge. Like, I want to be able to run back to her if I really desperately need someone to cover me. But I don't want her to run up there and be in harm's way if there's, like, Cazadors, like, you know, or something dangerous. Just wait here. As you wish, I will wait. But please do not be gone long. I'll miss you too. Stay strong, though. I hope her kids are okay. I'm so scared to talk to Daniel about her entire family because what if he's like, yeah, they were all in a really terrible accident involving, uh, you know, a pack of Cazdors. Like, uh, I don't want to be the one to give her bad news. So this bridge is just full of traps. Let's be aware. Hey! Hey there. Hey, girl. Wanna- wanna hang out? Girl time? Whoa! You brought a dog to girl time? That's against the girl code. I had to kill her. She violated girl code. Healing powder? Yeah, okay. Well, the tomahawks are worth quite a bit, and it's not like they're heavy, so sure. We're gonna be rich, and then we're gonna go to New Vegas. And we're going to go spend it all. <gasps> Sorry, I'm mildly freaked out. We're good, though. Suppose she had poisoned me. Which is... Okay. It's fine. I'm alright. Don't worry about me. Where are the buttons? That's so messed up. Let's fix this leg a little bit. Because it's about to break. I know. Maybe that wasn't a really good use of it. I thought I could... Use stim packs, whatever, it's fine. We're doing okay. Yep, there's the poison. A little bit hungry, not at all sleepy. I don't know why we don't need sleep in this expansion, but we don't. Okay, middle button. And we shall use. I don't know why we didn't use our tourniquet, but whatever. Poison. Oh no, that just cures animal poison. Where's the people poison? I have one, don't I? There it is. Natura anti-venom. Cool. Now I can see my buttons again. It's always upsetting when you can't see your buttons. Dirty water? Why don't we just drop it? I don't think we're going to want to drink it. I have purified water, though. And I'll drink one of those. Okay. So we trigger the bear trap. And this bear trap. They're a lot worse... At hiding bear traps than Mr. Cave Father is. Let's check out the local map so we can see 
more clearly where they are. There's one up here next to the truck. Easy. Easily spotted. I kind of want to look in this truck. Have I been in here? I don't think so. There's a wrench. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't need a cup. <gasps> oh, be still my beating heart. That one really, that one really frightened me. I mean, I have like different levels of fright where like sometimes it's okay. That was not one of the times where it was okay. That was really not okay. On a scale of one to okay, that was a no. Thanks though. Good try. I mean, to be honest, I don't see why we're disarming these bear traps with all the Yaogwai around. I would leave the bear traps up. I mean, there's bears. Like, what do you want? Hey, scorpion. Are you going to trigger the traps? I think you might have triggered one because your health was down a little bit. Unless you were fighting a white legs. I guess there's plenty of things you could have been doing. Get rid of this trap. And yeah, you definitely stepped in that one over there. I'll take the poison glands. Why not? Okay, treacherous road completed. Thanks for triggering one of the traps for me. Mr. Scorpion. So now what's left to do is to kill the guys who are setting the traps and do the Yagwa cave? No, do we not have to... Did that one count as the guy who triggered the traps? I guess so. Let's go pick up Cloudy with a chance of waking. Sorry, I couldn't think of anything. I didn't want to use, like, the actual name of the thing, because I was trying to be clever, but then, um, there was nothing, there was nothing clever to be said, so. I apologize. <laughs> it can't be a winner every time. Alright, there she is. Hello. Come with me. Come with, hey. Oh, she's like in the rock. Let's get a little closer. There we go. I won't. Okay. So that's not going to help her get out. All right. Let's go in this cave. Nope. There she goes. She fixed herself. Okay, great. I thought maybe loading into that cave would fix it, but she. Somehow managed to get out of that rock. I don't know why she was in the rock to begin with. And I don't know where that white mane was that she killed. Because she was way over there. And I killed this one. I guess we'll never know. Well. We're going to do the Yaogwai thing. But first. Let's go over here. I missed something over here, right? Well, to be to be fair, whenever I was over here for the first time, I was super new at the game. And look at it. It's a child. Leave it alone. I love it. So I, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just trying to get to some place that might represent a point of safety. Also, that's definitely Joshua. Look at that. Look at that self-portrait. Well, maybe not a self-portrait. I'm not sure he painted it himself. Maybe he did, though. I would like to think that he painted that himself. Look, the mummy man? That's him for sure. Okay, so there's the cave we came out of. And there's the survival cache that I put some stuff in. Okay. Okay. No, let's continue going up right here. I don't remember what's up here. Just Lions a plateau. To be a place of peace, you know. Daniel says that it is holy in the eyes of the Father. I hope someday you will see it as it was. That's nice of you as always. Okay, I'm thinking it's a bust up here, even though I was still was focusing on looking down more than I was at looking up here. Well, let's try going down the valley entrance of the Dark Horses. 
the dead horses. Sorry, not the dark horses. Well, they could be dark. They could be dark and dead. You know. There's nothing saying that it can only be one or the other. There's a fishy. And this nice little camp here. I remember this. Hello, fancy antler. Looking awfully dapper today. Whoa! Thank goodness it's just a cub. Oh, she's killed it already. Oh, she took its whole face off. That one really was messy business because she took his entire face off. Right, so the first time I came through here, I was looking down constantly for these. But if I hadn't been dancing around, maybe I would have noticed something else. Well, I'm trying. I don't see anything so far. And we're about to their camp. So what am I supposed to be seeing? I hope I'm not just going the absolute wrong way. Ah, handprints. Handprints, handprints, handprints. Okay, here we go. Fallen Rock Cave. Something is following us. Unless it's up there. Whatever. Let's not worry about it until it becomes a problem. Let's go in Fallen Rock Cave and be super sneaky. Okay. So there's that thing. How about you wait here? Just, I know, you want to talk. That's cool, but wait here. So yeah, I know I can, like, activate this. Apparently, rather than looking at the line itself, which is what I was trying to do initially, you look at the side. So I'm just a dunce. But also, in Fallout 3, I tried to trigger these by dropping a can on it, and it didn't work. That's why last time I... Well, not last time. It was a couple episodes ago, I guess. But that's why that last time we found one of these, and I triggered it with a pot, I was, like, kind of excited to try that, just because I wanted to know if it would work. Since it didn't work in 3, is what I'm saying. And there's the guns it's connected to. It would make me feel better if I disarmed those as well. Oh, sure. Healing powder? Why not? I know some people who are really into that stuff. I mean, I would use it too if I needed to. You know, I have nothing against it. Really spooked out about this whole place. Any more mines? No, these are just rocks. Big fan of the music. Scary as it is, though. There's another frag mine. Watch me, like, be looking for frag mines and step in a bear trap. I would not be flippin' surprised, guys. I wouldn't. Okay, so there's a tripwire. Which means that's the way I'm supposed to go. Also a frag mine, cool. You gotta admit, dropping pots on them is a little bit more exciting than this. There's another one over that way, wasn't there? I know there's a gun, but I thought there was another frag mine. Is there really not another frag mine over here? concerned. Okay. Maybe it glitched through the ground. Or maybe it was never there. I don't really know. Let's not step in any traps, though. That looks like his place. Any dangers? I see a trip wire. We're about level 20. What is this crazy? I hate you. 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 I hate you so much. Is 
sad. Okay, let's take Hydra. Why not? Up, 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 up. Okay. So we've made it. I don't see any more frag mines. At least not yet. Oh, sorry. I don't want to craft. I want to take the duct tape. I'll craft in a little bit. I have plenty of materials to make more weapon kits stashed away by now, but they're spread out all over the place. I just kind of dumped them here and there. So I'll work on getting those put together. I don't know. Maybe between the episodes. I don't know how exciting crafting is. Probably not very. Disarm. Disarm. We're going to level to 20. Don't level me to 20. I'm not trying to level up. I'm just trying to play the game. Which I guess involves leveling up. But I mean. Don't expect me to make sense. Why was there a teddy bear next to that? Frag mine, by the way. That's kind of disturbing. Flower. For whatever reason. Vision batteries so I can get over encumbered for no reason. Got it. Cool. There was a teddy bear next to it, wasn't there? I'm sure he got blown sky high. He's probably impaled on one of those stalag tights at the top. How are our limbs looking? Looking good. Alright, I guess we're ready to use the computer. Yeah, there's a wonder glue. Okay, computer time. Story time, everybody! Story time! Year 2077. So this is much towards the beginning. October 28th. Five days on foot. Still can't sleep. Outside, it's like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong. That's all. Hike back to an overturned National Guard truck near Torquerville. After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS team was researching something here in this cave. Cleared out when bombs fell, left equipment behind. Probably thought they had families to run back to. So that's the United States Geological Survey team, right? Which would make sense why they were in a cave. October 29th. Cher must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you heard. You were right. It was north of Spanish Fork. Took the 77 along Provo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour. Engine died. Truck just stopped. So did a priceless in the other lane. New right away. First nuke hit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash behind me. So bright. World looked on fire. Old couple from the Chrysler's start screaming they can't see didn't watch you die share save my eyes counted 12 more flashes next seven minutes ground shook each time 18 seconds later when nothing hit for half hour took a look globe of fire where you and alex died didn't kid myself didn't know what to do grab my pack and rifle Saw the old couple, sat them up against the car, let them hold each other and comfort each other. Told them I was going to get help, everything be okay. One bullet through both heads instant. Well, that's a jerk thing to do. I mean, I guess he was trying to be like mercy kill or something, but that just seems kind of like edgy. I don't know. Five day hike back to Zion. You told me stop running off to the wild man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. You were right. Wasn't there to hold you and my boy died without me. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself. What I deserve. Yeah, well, you don't have the courage to do that, do you? I can't. Maybe soon. Yeah, no. You're not gonna. October 31st. Oh, happy Halloween. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water... From back of the cave, all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but I can't look. Geiger goes lethal 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out. Or I never leave this cave. 
the next year. January 1st, Happy New Year. Two months in cave. Still lethal outside. I don't get it. In the army, they said two to four weeks cleared fallout. Less than a month's water left. Been mopping condensation off the cave walls and wringing shirt into bottles. Trading calories for water. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USGS. If there was even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside. January 10th. Sounds like windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? January 15th. Took a peek. Snow. It glows green. January 28th. Radiation low enough. I could risk a short exposure outside. More important, the cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. January 30th, there is nothing alive out there. Okay. Well. What? Happy story time as usual. Here's the last survival cache. Have some various ammos we can take. Lots of various ammos and I wasn't done looking. I wasn't done looking! Well, we got a bunch of stuff. Let's see if we got anything in the way of apparel. This can go. Any weapons I can smash together? Mining detonator, right? That's because we need to use that in the cave. Five pounds over encumbered. We'll eat a piece of corn. We'll drop the mole rat meat. There's no way we need that. Potato chips, sure, sounds yummy. Drink a couple waters. And then what? Check on our food status. Great. Sleep is not a thing. H2O, great. Okay. We'll put some stuff back in here. There's no way I need all of this ammo. Or I could put the carton of cigarettes. Duct tape. Just temporarily. Yeah, that's what I need to get rid of is the fission batteries because they weigh so much. Okay. And compliance regulator. That sounds unique. So we'll take it. Because we like unique things. And that's it. That's all of the caches. Did I get anything special for that? I was too busy freaking out over my inventory to pay good enough attention. Did they get a perk, maybe? Do 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 da da dun dun. Hmm. I don't see anything. I still need to try this sometime. I don't know. I don't see it. But I could just be crazy. Probably nothing there then. Well, I can see it. Like, you know, that's... One of the good things about having everything recorded, whenever I miss something, I can see it again. Sorry, I got spooked by nothing. So that was the way down to his cave. And this was... Sorry, actually my, my mouse is freaking me out, I think. We didn't go down this way yet. I don't think there's going to be anything alive in here. Can I not go that way? Well, okay then. What about this way? Nope. I cannot imagine sponging moisture off a cave wall to drink, though, so... You know, kudos to him. Like, he's a good survivalist. I'm not knocking his... skills... at all. And I do feel bad for him. So where is this gonna lead out to? Oh, it's an underwater exit? So that's how he got all of his water to drink to stay alive. Went right out into the river. Well, we need to go to the other entrance. Any fragmite over here? Knew it. So we can pick up Cloud. Is 
And then I guess we'll go play with the Yaogwai, which is exactly what I want to do. I don't know about you. Let's go, babe. I walk in your footsteps. Coolie. Coolie, coolie. We're actually, since we're so close to the Dead Horse Camp, let's go talk to Follows Chalks instead. What should we tell him about the outside world? Our tribes don't have much contact with each other. Well, you should be friends with them. They're cool people. Hey, mister. What's up? What can I tell you? I want to talk to you. I talked to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He said you're an adult man and you can make your own decision. He said he has a hard time being objective about the whole idea and that I should give you advice. Lie. That it's a den of corruption and vice. That the dead horse's way of living is better. I mean, that might be actually true. That a man must follow his heart no matter where it leads him. That's always a lie. Okay. He said he has a hard time being objective and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? You should stay here with your people. You have a duty to them. Civilization isn't perfect, but neither is tribal life. You should see it for yourself. I mean, I guess that makes the most sense when you say it that way but i just feel like he should stay here i'm worried about him i like him i don't want him to go out and get robbed he would end up like that dude who had a lucky necklace full of star caps like come on this guy would definitely make a lucky necklace full of star caps and pick up a psycho chick who would kill him in the streets for it but okay you should go see it for yourself i'm, I'm trying to give you your big world exploration dream really you think so i guess Whew. I'm going to do it. After all this is over, I'm going to go explore civilization. Oh, no. Dankney, Akis, I never would have had the grounds to ask him myself. Oh. Okay, just be be safe. What can I tell you? Be safe, man. I want to give you advice, but I, I can't. So just be safe. Be safe. Be safe. Don't talk to strangers. Shoot everyone on sight. You'll be fine. Go with fortune, friend. Okay, good luck. Good luck to you. Oh, I'm so worried about it. I'm so worried. Are you worried? I bet she's worried too. Okay, well. Let's hope we didn't just screw up his life. I mean, it's what he wants to do anyway. Listen to how excited he was. We can't just take that away from him. Since everything in the Yaogwai cave is dead, I'll go ahead and collapse that first. Yaogwai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. Tried to get me that there time and you couldn't. There must be a nest nearby. Okay. Big deal I've killed worse. Not really. I mean, I have already killed these, though. What do you propose? Fighting so many at once is a dangerous prospect. Unless you are a truly mighty warrior. Oh, thanks. That's a compliment. This many so close together suggests a nest nearby. If we find it and destroy it, we might have better luck. How would we do that? Did Daniel not give you some of the new Canaanites' fire clay? Oh, right, yeah. That could easily collapse a cave and trap the beasts inside. Look around and see if you can find a cave near. It's right there. It's like right it here. It may prove easier than slaying the beasts. Well, they're already dead, but okay. We better get to work. I stand with you. All right. So if I want to do this, let's go ahead and equip the mining detonator. And then do I do this from the outside or do I do this from the inside? Where are the mining ones? There they are, mining explosives. Okay. So I cannot remove quest items from my inventory. Okay. I don't know how it wants me to place them. So you just... My skills Sorry, no. I will fight. Okay, that's not far enough away. I really don't want you to, to die or suffer, so... Well, there's a Yaogwai right there. Is it giant, though? Is it going to kill her? Do I really want to find out? No, okay, she got it. Okay, you stand over here. As you wish. And then maybe if I fire this at the cave entrance. No, nothing? That's not how it works? Okay, that's not how it works. So then there must be places in this cave where I am meant to place the quest items.
Where would that be? Okay, so it looks like a lot of complex problems can be solved by just checking your actual map. Good to know. Let's place these explosives around this cave so that they can blow up the Yaogawai. So when I come over here, does it give me an option to place them? No. It's like right here. Can I fire this? You must be outside the cave to say safely detonate the explosives. Well, I can't drop it from my inventory since it's a quest item. I tried that. Unless it works now that I'm inside. Okay, so I need to activate something in here to put it. Whoa! Oh, I'm about to have a heart attack from this girl. I like how it was outside, so it didn't even show it to me. So she's outside fighting things while I'm in here doing all this? Seriously? Have you ever had that happen before? Wow, I really have no idea what I'm doing with this mining device. Holy cow. I feel so stupid. Did you hear that? They are in here. We ain't doing this. I really just feel stupid. It's supposed to be right here, right? Or is it... Is it on a different level from us? Okay, before I give up on this entirely, we're going to go down a thing, and that looks like something. What is this? What are you? What are you doing? Explosives marker. Okay, there's one explosive. Now I need to put the other two, and then we'll be done. Okay, so I'm just an idiot. Cool. I'm glad we got that sorted. I'm glad we got that solved. Let's go through this way, because I think we can go right along to the other locations from here if this map is to be believed looks like we just go here and then there and we can avoid the yagua that are in here because i did hear them and i don't want to deal with them wasn't even paying attention to the breathe bar at least i solved this though i mean i'm gonna have to heavily edit this let's face it it's it's uh <laughs> it's gonna need to be a montage and that's embarrassing. Let's put this one down. Well, not now. Like, it doesn't need to be in montage now that I've figured it out. But I was really having a hard time there. I didn't even think about there being multiple cave levels in this place. I hope I'm not the only person who stood up on the top level like a dummy for a really long time. And this doesn't let me out? It doesn't. It just... Looks like it lets me out. Okay, let's leave the cave and detonate this sucker. And kill all of these guys. And the only way out of this cave is over there. See, I thought it was weird the first time we were in here that this was not an exit. Okay, so we need to swim and then go back up and then go around. Okay, great. At least I finally know the layout of this cave that I'll never come in again because I'm going to destroy it. It needs to be destroyed, though. It has horrible things in here. Horrible, horrible things. That at the time... Look, I remember to breathe. That at the time, I didn't really even appreciate how horrible they were because I hadn't been one-shot by one yet. I'm still mad about that, but I guess that's what I get for being a wimpy little woman, huh? That's what happens. Okay. We're almost there. I see it. I see the exit. And we'll detonate this place. Do I need to be at like a safe distance? Or is it fine just to be outside? Because I parked her a little ways away because I was worried about it. Surely this is good enough. Okay. Boom. Bye bye. We gotta help her. Really? Oh, I'm so glad that you got it. I was worried. I was actually worried about it. No, 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 no. Return. Return. I'm pressing return. Thank you. We're going to be... Whoa. What? Level 20. Okay. Why is everything in slow motion outside of Vats? What is happening with this game? Just pump the energy weapons up. Just pump it up. Medicine is worth investing in, I think, some more. But first, let's focus on 
science. And that's looking pretty okay to me. I know some stuff is like really low, but it's stuff that I don't care about. I know I sneak a lot, but I don't care about being good at sneak because I'm not trying to do a stealth type character. So we're not putting points into it really. Not heavy amounts of points anyway. Maybe if it got to the point where I ran out of things to care about, you know? Well, let's go down and see if I can take a, uh, ooh. Yeah, here's the level 20 stuff. Very cool. Explorer. When you choose the Explorer perk, every location in the world is revealed in your map. No, I don't want to do this. I feel like I've hardly explored at all. I mean, I don't know how much of the world is left, but I feel like I want to find it myself. Eye for an eye. Each crippled limb you have, you do an additional 10% damage. That's cool. That's actually cool. You could make being crippled into a actual mechanic for yourself, like an actual playstyle choice. That's kind of neat. If you kill a target in VATS, 20 action points are restored upon exiting VATS. I'm not focusing on VATS. Like, I use it when I get freaked out, which is a lot recently. But before then, I wasn't really relying heavily on it. And a mile in their shoes. You have come to understand Night Stalkers. Consuming Night Stalker squeezings now grants bonuses to perception, poison resistance, and stealth in addition to the normal benefits. Well, I don't think so, because I don't really... I don't really drink that as it is. Let's go down and see what we don't qualify for. As always, solar powered. We gain additional two points in strength when we are in direct sunlight. And regenerate health. No. Limbs get eaten. Any living creature you kill has 50% chance to have potent healing items. Then red paste or blood sausage. No, I don't really care about that. Irradiated beauty. We're not there yet. Ninja. The ninja perk grants you the power of the fabled shadow warriors when attacking in either melee or unarmed. You gain critical chance for every strike. Sneak attack. Criticals do 25% more. No. Here we go. Atomic. That's what I want, but our endurance is never going to be there, so forget about it. You know what this means? This means I can ignore all of this, and we should be able to get... Where is it? Meltdown. My corona of harmful energy. Since I'm not just super impressed with the 20 stuff, like, I I don't know. It just, it doesn't sound so good for me. I don't care about having the places. I don't want to play as a cripple. I don't want to use vats all the time. And I don't care about night stalker squeezings. I've only seen night stalkers once. So let's just go with meltdown. I'm happy. I hope you don't mind me thinking that through with you. Okay, finally. You look angry, babe. Look I how angry she is. She looked real mad. Well, now she looks fine. You just went and made your normal face because I was trying to tell people how angry you looked. Okay, well, we actually did everything we set out to do today. We took care of the traps. We took care of the Yagwai. We talked to Chalk, and we found the last cache. So that was surprisingly everything. Oh, look, that's that little dock we were on. I know, it's like pretty much... We're out of time. I'm, I don't know how much editing I'm going to have to do on the ridiculous mining thing so we might have more time than i think i don't know it's definitely going to be over 45 minutes already though at least i think so i've kind of lost all concept of time which may be a bad thing if this episode is super long then either i'm sorry or you're welcome depending on how you feel about that this is the dock i was on right no i was on a dock go ahead and reload it since we just have one shot left that's a giant gecko, and those are mean too. You don't have to. You don't have to worry about going over there and hitting him. I've got him. Oh, what a beautiful corona of energy! I hope that's not going to be a problem for my followers. I mean, they can learn to avoid it. I saw you. What are you doing? I need healing powder. Do you? Do you? No, 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 honey. Mm. That should keep me going a while longer. That should keep me. I'm just worried. Where is this stupid thing? Is this the one? It looks like him. He's bleeding from the face. That means I've hit him. And now he's really hurting. Me either. I hope you're all right, by the way. Okay, so what is this place? Maybe I am jumping the gun by putting the weapon away. Let's take out this one. The 
burial mounds. Please be respectful here. These are the bones of our ancestors. Oh, okay, I'll be respectful. This guy looks like you're trying to hide a bear trap in him. Oh, what happens if I open the Is she gonna get mad? Ain't no way I'm gonna eat a crunchy fruit out of somebody's burial urn. Ew. Nothing in there. Is she gonna flip out if I take something? Like, if there's something worth taking, is she gonna flip? This reminds me of... In World of Warcraft, there's like that one Tarin graveyard you can go to in Mulgor that looks like this. I guess the whole point is that since the Tarin are based off Native Americans to a degree, and these guys are... Two. Also. Tribals. I'm totally being respectful. Don't look at me like that. I'm just analyzing why this guy looks like he's been crucified. I guess that symbolism would make sense considering your belief system. Still kind of weird, but okay. I don't see anything here that's particularly impressive. I am curious about all these boot marks. Like, who's been over here making boot marks? What about that big urn? Anything in the big urn? I don't think so. I can't even access the big one. And what about the top of this? Can I, like, parkour up to the top of this? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm definitely being respectful. How about you just wait here? Wait. As you wish. This is respectful. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing but respect. I got mad respect for you. Mad respect for you. Mad respect for your ancestor. Mad respect for everybody. I'm so mad respectful, I just... I just couldn't help myself. Okay, well, I climbed all the way up here and there's nothing, so... That's gonna be it! That's gonna be today! I think it went pretty well. See you next time!